If you joined the crowd at Notting Hill Carnival this bank holiday weekend, you could be scanned, identified and tracked in real time, thanks to facial recognition. Sky News has learned that more than 20 million facial images are now held by the police, which could correspond to nearly a third of the UK population. It's the second year police have trialled the technology at Carnival, and it's being deployed more and more. Leicestershire police have previously used it at a festival, and football fans attending the Champions League final here in Cardiff in June were also scanned. But in his first ever interview, the independent biometrics commissioner has told Sky News that pressing ahead with the technology poses risks. If the police start deploying a technology without us understanding what it will do and without any government, government framework, legislative framework or independent oversight, then I think that will undermine trust in the police. Then you're perfectly right, there is this question about invasion of individual privacy. And there needs to be a proper balance between whatever the public interest has claimed and the interference in that individual privacy. Surveillance is obviously crucial to the police and intelligence agencies, and counter-terrorism makes it even more vital. What facial recognition allows, though, is the computer to pick your face out of a crowd. Rather than just being kept tabs on, you're tracked in real time. It's mass surveillance for the physical world. Facial recognition has advanced dramatically over the last five years, thanks to machine learning and artificial intelligence. This British company says its recognition systems get ten times more accurate every three to six months, and that they're being used by counter-terrorism agencies around the world every day. What you're seeing now is a real-life demo. The state of the art is changing, and what we have now is the ability to do much more in the real world in real time. So what we're showing today is a capability that can be much more in the Jason Bourne style, i.e. we're looking for people in the real world as they go about their everyday lives. The Met told us... The deployment of the cameras is to test the technology and was implemented following close liaison with the Information Commissioner and Big Brother Watch. Once the trial is complete, we will be analysing the results and holding a public consultation. The overall picture for policing is patchy. Through freedom of information requests, Sky News has found that three police forces use the technology. For the Champions League final, though, South Wales Police only conducted a privacy assessment after plans had been put in place to monitor tens of thousands of fans under facial recognition. The Home Office was supposed to publish a biometric strategy giving regulations on how to use facial recognition three years ago. It still hasn't. This should not be happening in a policy vacuum. That's, I think, the key point. The, the government needs to set out what its position is on this uh, how we balance security against privacy, how we reassure the public that uh, uh, this technology is going to be used properly. It's not just police and intelligence agencies who use facial recognition. Businesses are getting into it too. Adverts can be targeted at you in real time by detecting your gender, your age and even your emotions. This is an unsettling future, one that so far the public has had little say over. Tom Cheshire, Sky News.